Good evening, this is Tina. How are you doing so far? Uh, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the first API, persist API. Persist equals to sell. Okay, let's take a look at using a code. I already have the basic structure set up for this demo. And uh, if you want to download, you can go to description, okay? And in the POM, I add the two dependency. And uh, I already have a persistent.xml configured because uh, I don't want to uh, waste our time, just a copy paste, okay? The schema is this one. If you uh, want to run this demo, make sure you ch have this schema or you change it to match your own, okay? And also change the username and password, other things. And uh, next one is the domain model uh, has nothing, and uh, the main thing, uh, the main main class also has uh, nothing here. First, uh, let's create a domain model. Okay, so let's using the person. Any domain model you want. Okay, don't ask me again. Entity. Okay. If we do like this way, the entity gonna the end, uh, table name gonna be the same as your class name, right? The first one I want to have is private what's the thing long ID. Okay, for best practice, we're using surrogate key and we don't using the primitive type. And next one I want it to generate a value. If I do like this way, it's gonna be auto. And uh, since I already have the fix here. It's gonna using identity. If you are not clear, if you are not clear, what we can do is comment this one, and then here we explicitly define the strategy to be the identity. So it won't generate hibernate sequence that are table for us. And I'm gonna have private, uh, private uh, what's the thing? Uh, private uh, a string first name. And have another one private. Uh, have another one, private string last name. Okay. And uh, now I want to add the getter status. Okay. Because later on I want to using some uh, setter. Okay. If you want to have a two string, we can also add a two string method. Okay. We add a two string. Okay. So now let's take a look at uh, the. Man, for the man, uh, we have to get the entity manager factory, right? Using persist, persistence dot create entity manager factory based on the persistent unit. Persistent unit is this one. And it's gonna return what for you? It's gonna return entity manager factory. Okay. End. And from the entity manager factory, we can get what? We can get entity manager. Okay, em equals emf dot uh, create entity manager factory, uh, entity manager. And uh, now we will create a new person. Okay, we will create a new person. And uh, since our ID is auto generate, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a person only has first name and the last name. Okay, so let me add a constructor. Uh, I think the default constructor is not needed. If it has a exception, we will add later. Okay, create a person p equals new person, and I will give the first name Tina. Last name X I N G, and then we're gonna using what we're gonna using E. Oh, uh, so we first have to start a transaction. Okay, get transaction dot begin. Okay, and then we will do is E M dot persist P, and then we do a commit. Commit. Uh, sorry. And then we're using em dot close, and we also can close the emf, which means close all the connections. Okay, so uh, let's run. 
uh, persist uh, return void doesn't have any return see here void okay let's see what's gonna happen and uh, what we can do is we can using system out dot p okay let's see what's gonna happen run it Okay, you can see inserted successfully you will see the person uh, one Tina X I N G and uh, let me show you here okay let me show you here this table D and you will see one Tina last them is uh, saved successfully right so this is uh, the persist which is used to save an um, instance into the uh, so save an entity into a database and uh, <coughs> for the persist let me draw you something okay let me draw you something let me using a new page okay persist um, method okay persist method Oh, when we have the when we knew an object p1 right here is our cache first level cache and here is our db database db and uh, when we using persist it will move it will move this object to here p1 it will move okay move to here and doesn't return anything so this object is inside the cache if we make an update to this object it will automatically be pushed to the database it will automatically you don't need to uh, update again it will automatically do that okay let me show you this behavior so here this is my personal okay then i using p dot set first name to be test set this one but I don't do any like uh, operation, other operation like uh, update or merge, right? I just do like this way. And uh, let's see what's gonna uh, be saved into the database, okay? Previously, you see Tina XING, right? Like here, Tina XING. And uh, let's run one more time and see what, uh, what, what happened. okay probably you already see see the see the uh the sql okay let's take a look at take a look at see here this is all the sql uh, i want to i want to not format because if a format is very long i tend to be false and let's run one more time sorry Okay, here, uh, let's take a look at when we run, we have uh, three statement uh, in the output, right? This is the uh, first time is a SQL. SQL is uh, where it happened, is in here. When we using persist, it will create a SQL for us. If you don't, uh, we can make it uh, the one. Okay, and uh, we do a nothing is uh, here oh, oh, oh okay here two and we do a nothing here three and we do a nothing here four okay make it very very clear so we will see where those uh statement is executed right and we can have another one here five And let's run okay to make it uh, more and more clear okay we will know where is the statement being executed mm, very good now let's take a look at 
first we see a statement 1, statement 1 is here, right? And uh, here is a statement 2. And between statement 1 and 2, between statement 1 and 2, you see two output. The, the second one, this one yeah, should be the system out, right? So this line of code will make a SQL insert into the database. Okay, this line is caused by the persist. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. Sys uh, two, I'm here, two. Okay, and then when I using p dot set first name, do I have some statement between two and three? Two and three, nothing. Okay, then I have three. Three, between three and four. Three and four, I have a commit, right? And uh, between the three and the four, here has one statement, updated person to test. So this is another feature of the Hibernate, which is uh, it keep a track of the changes of managed uh, entities, keep track of the managed entities. If there's any change in the managed entities, before it commits or before any query or before the entity manager is closed it gonna issue an update into the database got it so here this previously the person one has uh, this person has tina xing and before commit we had an update on this managed entity and because of that the Hibernate will issue an update statement or SQL to the database to make change to the managed entities. So let me go here and run again. You will see here the test XING. It's not a Tina XING anymore. And then after commit, we just have some close and then you have the statement 5. Got it? Okay, that is the persist. Anyway, persist, uh, it's gonna move the object from transient state to the managed state. And uh, every change you made on this uh, entity, it eventually gonna be pushed to the database. If you have any question on the persist, please leave a comment below. I will try my best to answer you as soon as possible. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.